What's going on, everybody? Today, I'm doing the A-Class playlist around mid-Ohio. Um, I'm using the M2. I qualified fourth. We're doing five laps. And the car was kind of a, a pick off the whim. I don't really have too many A-Class cars I'm confident in. But the M2, I guess, is the one I am most confident in, you know? Uh, I'd much prefer to do, like, D-Class. I feel like A-Class is kind of this weird middle ground. I'm not a big fan of. Either way, we're going to do it because we do it all. So, hopefully we have a good race. Qualify fourth, like I said. So, uh, you know, podium is, like, right there. But, uh, like I said, them two, it's a bit of a, a bit of an oddball pick. But especially the the new M2. So were the M2 comp, I probably would have a better chance. And I could have very well picked it, but I did not. We're off here though. Finding another gear. One thing I despise about this car is that it's got an eight speed and it is the absolute worst to work around. It is foul. We already have a Corvette just trying to make a move on me. The Aston and fourth pulling away. The gearbox already is showing its flaws right now. You know, that grass almost just killed me, so I, uh, I'm glad I kind of swerved out of the, the way of the Corvette. That could have been absolutely terrible for everybody. Yeah, I'm probably going to start keeping it in third gear and above because the first two are really killing me here. I don't want to, but it's going to be the case. I'm still managing a pretty decent gap, so that's good to see, but it's also a bit shocking. I'm not really too sure how we're managing to pull away too much but I'll take it keeping it very close with the, the Nissan and the Aston they're gonna pull away on the exit that's inevitable the exit speed on this car for any corners just tremendously terrible But you almost have to work with the car, you know, like to enjoy it. It's a, uh, it's a rewarding car, almost. The Nissan and the Aston here, getting, uh, getting close and slowing each other down. So that's nice. Getting really close to the Aston now here. Ooh, cars uh in a little little scary to handle right now. Uh, 
Aston is now pulling away a bit. He's about a second and a half out. See those medium speed uh, corners, we got some pretty good traction on them. We actually gain on the ass and pretty quickly here. You cannot do this this final bit either at all. We always get within half a second of him and then he drops us and then it happens again. It's just a cycle. We're on the fourth lap now though. And we're in sixth. Gaining on the Aston. Good grip there that time. We got a BRZ behind us that we gotta take note of. Yeah, that upshift killed me. I knew putting it in second gear was a was a questionable idea. Yeah, he's right on my rear here, so just trying to pick up the pace a little bit. He's trying to take me around the outside, just. Uh, a bit interesting. We're even closer to the Aston here. He's uh, struggling a little bit. We're keeping the story the same though on the final lap. Really close to the Aston. So hopefully we can take him um, take his position here. For fifth. Kept it pretty clean. No penalties. I almost went into the back of him. Uh, as I say that. Give him a bit of a love tap. Ooh. Ooh, bit of a lock up there. And that is gonna really give the BRZ8 sniff down my inside and he he took that like very aggressively but I, I'll give it to him oh that was terrible that was terrible by the BRC there. But we'll take sixth in mid Ohio in the BMW. I did not think we we're gonna keep a, an okay position like that, but I'll take it. I appreciate you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.